this story coming in from Maharashtra, where the Central Bureau of Investigation has booked former Maharashtra Home Minister Anil Deshmukh. They have, in fact, registered a case against Anil Deshmukh, who is the former Home Minister and member of uh, Sharad Pawar and uh, some uh, NCP. Now, Anil Deshmukh is allegedly uh, it was involved in framing some BJP leaders. This is the investigation that the CBI is now going to carry out against uh, Mr. Deshmukh, remember, who has been in the eye of the storm, had to spend some time in prison as well. Now, he has been booked by the CBI and along with him, in fact, uh, the, there have been few other uh, people, including a special public prosecutor who has been booked uh, uh, by the CBI. And that charge is that there were some false cases against BJP leaders, which were, in fact, uh, on the behest of Mr. Deshmukh, registered on the behest of Mr. Deshmukh, and that is what the CBI will now be investigating. Let me go across to my colleague, Radhika, who's <clears throat> joining us with more details uh, on this story. Radhika, uh, you know, just to put things in context at this moment, uh, what are these cases? Who are the BJP leaders involved? And what is the scope of CBI's investigation? That's right. This is a big development. Uh, CBI has, uh, in fact, uh, booked Anil Deshmukh uh, in a case where he's made false cases and allegations against a few leaders. In fact, Anil Deshmukh himself has taken to Twitter saying that uh, the CBI has filed a new baseless case against him. Remember, this is the third case against him by the CBI. In fact, he has attributed this move to Maharashtra Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis, uh, saying that uh, Fadnavis is panicking. Um, Deshmukh uh, is, of course, facing a CBI case for alleged corruption and another uh, registered by the Enforcement Directorate. He has refuted the new charges, labeling them as part of a larger conspiracy. He says this conspiracy has started as Fadnavis is panicked after seeing people's mandate. He says he's not scared by such threats and pressure. Um, now, Deshmukh, in fact, earlier had claimed that Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis had sent his close aid in 2021, asking to sign on four affidavits to implicate four ministers of the Mahavikas Aghadi, including Uddhav Thakre, Aditya Thakre, and Anil Parap, along with Ajit Pawar uh, of the NCP. So this is a big claim that was uh, that is made by Anil Deshmukh. Anil Deshmukh, over the last few days, had been uh, targeting the BJP, uh, making all kinds of allegations, and there were counter allegations made by Fadnavis okay. as well. Uh, and and then therefore now at this point, what we are hearing is that uh, yes, uh, an, an, a fresh case being registered against former Home Minister Maharashtra. You know, right, Radhika, uh, he belongs now to the Sharad Pawar NCP, and this development just before elections, it will have political ringtones as well, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. This is going to have uh, political implications. In fact, Anil Deshmukh, over the last few weeks, had been taking multiple uh, press conferences, making all kinds of charges, leveling all kinds of charges against BJP leaders, especially against Devendra Fadnavis. Now, of course, uh, with elections around the corner, just a few months away, uh, this arrest will certainly have political implications. We'll have to wait and see what kind of reactions we get uh, from uh, NCP leaders, especially... Uh, from Sharad Pawar, but Anil Deshmukh has, of course, reacted, saying that this is uh, Devendra Fadnavis and the BJP in the state panicking because they know that the people's mandate is with Sharad Pawar, which is why these threats of arrest, uh, uh, you know, uh, by the CBI. Uh, so, yes, these are the kind of reactions we are getting from okay. Anil Deshmukh, but remains to be seen how this will play out politically in the state.